fact that I'm having a visceral reaction to you asking me this question <laughs> means we should say no. Yes, right. But that's the other thing. We don't want to let people down. How many That's things have we said yes to? I know. I have married men because I did not want to hurt their feelings. Oh, no, <laughs> Missy! <laughs> Dead serious. Oh, In the middle, God. this poor man was proposing to me on a Scrabble board, typing it, spelling out, will you marry me? I'm like, oh, oh God. God. He's putting the R. He's I'm putting like, another R. And I didn't even have an N in my hand, you know. Oh, oh my god! And I'm like, all right. (laughs) (laughs) Jeremy is the only man I have married on purpose. Oh, I love that. Yeah, because he's the one you're supposed to be married. He's the one I'm supposed to be, and I found him at the tender young age of (laughs) fifty. Hey, listen. At least you found him. <laughs> oh, exactly. I was about to say, I wouldn't trade it. If uh, everything leading up to that had to happen for me to get yeah. here, I'm okay and with honestly, it. honestly, I have to say, like, we always, as, as children, as kids growing up, we always think, like, oh, you know, our lives are in our 20s and our 30s. But honestly, they really aren't. There's so much more in our 40s and the 50s. And there's so much more to look forward to. And there's just so much more up here. I was about to say <laughs> that. <laughs> when we were in our 20s and our 30s. Those- the things that I used to think about that that I used to believe to be like hard facts yeah. about myself and about the world and yeah. you know like I was a perfect mom before I had kids you know like all right. of the things exactly. like I'm gonna do it this I'm gonna way do it I'm gonna do it this way blah, blah, blah. and then you realize like there's so much variation and so many different areas and everything can shift a little bit better and you don't uh-huh. have to, I don't know you I can much breathe. prefer this. Yeah. I much prefer this stage Abs- of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, my ass was better than, like, you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely, yeah, of course. I feel bad. My husband didn't get, like, the good naked years. But he got the good Missy years. He got the good Missy. And he likes the naked. Yeah. But I'm like, there's some men whose memories I wish could flip. Flip, yeah. You know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you, sir, do not deserve the access yeah, to that memory. Please give that one. And then delete <laughs> and forward. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Copy and paste. I was like, because it was good. I was hot. You know, but no, but it is. Oh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> There's something about when you were younger, whether you would tell yourself, like, when you're like 18 or 20 years old, there's something that you would tell yourself now, like, give yourself advice uh, or give your younger self advice, I yeah. should say. Um, honestly, and this is going to sound so woo woo, but. Be your authentic self, mm-hmm. no matter what. Yeah. Because I know I tried on a lot of different personalities and almost props because mm-hmm. I thought, okay, well, if I want this, I've got to act like this and be like this. Yeah. And then the moment I grew out of that yeah. and could just be Yourself. authentic is when things started to get really, really good because then the right things come and the right things fit organically. Right. And I think that's the thing because, and I actually have grief for the poor girl that I used to be. I'm like, oh, if only she'd known that right. she didn't oh, have she to be? do. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, honey. But she had to go through that. But Yeah, but that's the thing. But it yeah. does. And I'm like, oh, you're, if only you'd known. Right. You know, like it. <laughs> you poor little you put a boo boo boo. <laughs> Yeah. You know, um. But that's the thing. Yeah. And I still, you know, and I say that, I'd say it to my younger self. But I also meet women, at, you know, at this stage of life, or 10 years younger, 10 years older, yeah. that still don't trust themselves, that are still living in a way that they're like, well, I always wanted Not to try that. Not authentically. Yeah. And you see that sorrow, and I'm like, don't yeah. do that to you. Yeah, just be you. Listen yeah. to yourself. Well, I think a lot of people turn themselves off. Yes. Not sexually, but like yeah. mentally. <laughs> Maybe sexually. Both. You never know. It depends yeah. on the view, the angle, exactly. the lighting. The lighting. <laughs> the smell on any given particular day. Exactly. Not, not smelling the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it does. I think it has to do with a lot of like you know what's in your mind. Yeah, you know, like how you think of things and, and how you it, adjust. To, it really yeah. does, and I think that t- comes with time. That comes with yeah. learning experiences, it and, com- and it comes with getting kicked in the face a million, a times. thousand times. You and know, that's just like in comedy too. It's like that's like life, but that's also in comedy, right? Yeah, like, like well, and that's what makes comedy so beautiful. Yeah, you absolutely. know, because you get to 
have that moment with I don't care what audience you're in front of. There's some story you're telling that hits them about like, oh my God, I do that all the time or yes, whatever. exactly. And it's just the like... Relate, the relate, to be able to relate. Yes, that yeah. relatability mm-hmm. among humans that you might actually hate. Like we might hate each other's guts. Absolutely. We might have, compl- or the whole room might, but those moments of like, oh my God, I, it's just Price amazing. Us. Yeah. Absolutely. Is there somebody, well, I, I, I probably know this, but is there somebody that influenced you comedic, comedic wise in your life? Comedic wise, like in terms of just my personality yeah like forever when I was a little girl I was obsessed with the Carol Burnett show and I didn't know anything about stand-up comedy yeah. let's be clear that happened completely can that comedy happened completely by accident uh-huh. um, just like I married people by accident <laughs> I started comedy by accident but I always wanted to be like an actor singer uh-huh. and I love funny I love funny and to me because I didn't know what stand-up was her sketch, like I would yes. sit around doing the whole here, pidgey, 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 <laughs> and all of that stuff for years. And I would watch that show and watch her and the other people and be like, those, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, that's really awesome. That's it. And just her personality. Do you know she's never mean? Yeah. I like funny that's more self. Like, yeah, I'll fall down. down. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, yeah. I'll do anything. I'll throw myself down the stairs, do mm-hmm. all of that, but I'm not going to make somebody else I'll feel bad. bad. Yeah, that's why we have the same sense. Like, yes. that's why we've always, like, enjoyed each other's Yeah, yeah because it's just one of those things where I'm like, I would never want to say anything that made out. somebody feel worse than they did. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I had a comedian um, that I did, in, in did, uh, did improv with many, many years ago, and she, her thing was just ripping on people and it would get to the point where it was super uncomfortable because you would see like if there was an obese person in the audience she would just rip on them the entire time and that makes me cry yes literally exactly i I would be on stage with this person and i'm supposed to be supporting this comedian improviser and they're doing it it was a it's it's a tough tough, a tough thing to do when you're in that situation how you split this around because what do you feel for the audience so improv can be difficult sometimes. Yes, uh, I've never like dealing with. Yeah, when you're doing stand up, it's you. You'd be like, all right, that guy's just an asshole. But when you're when you have to deal with them, like in in in, 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 in a support, and you have to support, support them. That. Yeah, I have that would be super hard. I don't. Yeah, it's and that's why like I when I choose to do my when I produce my shows when I try I always try to keep like the the, the people that I want to keep together you know what I yes. mean happy not happy work no one is ever freaking happy no, but, but, the, but the there's just a are, level of kindness yeah just I general like kindness absolutely. doesn't even have to be happy exactly. and kind doesn't always have to be super nice absolutely like it's not like kindness. oh just so, but kindness is just taking into consideration is what I'm about to do no matter how funny it might be, is the funny factor going to be greater than making this one person in an audience feel like absolute shit? shit. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's what I love about you. I love it. It's just, it, nothing's, I, yeah. It yeah. Just, oh, I'm like, cry. <laughs> a friend of mine told, and he, he's a lovely comic, and he told me when he first started, he was doing some jokes about about fat people is mm-hmm. what he would say yeah. and there were two overweight women in the front row and he said she he saw her sitting there just trying to smile yeah trying to uh, and he's like a joke he's like my heart broke yeah see he, he he's like yeah. i've never done it since i will never do it again i will never forget the look in her face and i'm like yeah the, because that's and the other thing yeah. you you know better you do better right Right, and, and that's the thing, like this comedian, that's their thing, like that's their shtick, they yeah. still run with that, that's their thing, and they do, they're do. they doing well, but it's like, it's really hard to see that, like as another comedian, it's like, why do you have to, why? Yeah, why? Like, and like, that's the thing, I'm like, like, do it on yourself, like make fun of yourself, mm-hmm. like you, there's plenty to make fun of you about, <laughs> like yeah. let's keep it at that, right, well, you're lame. That, <laughs> and that's the thing, is it's like, and I totally respect freedom of oh, artistic yeah. expression, all that stuff, but. There are certain things that no matter what, I can't get behind. Yeah. And that I just, I can't get behind that. Being comedy, like, people yeah. have asked me to do some sketches where they'll be like, oh, will you say this? I'm like, yeah, no, I, yeah. I won't. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. Plenty of other people to do that for you. Yeah. But I, that's it's just, it, com- it, it can't do thing. it. Yeah. Can't do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I, I, I totally, um, I, I totally feel the same way. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is a, a, an important lesson that you feel that you learned? Um, doing comedy, um, 
something you could tell somebody who, who's just starting or yeah what the content of what you say mm -hmm. you have to pay attention to the response like you can't okay so what I'm saying if the audience likes you you can say whatever the hell you right. want to if they like you, you know they're eating you're it up. in if you go in which is this is contradictory to what new comics learn. Like, they're like, get your set, do it, memorize it, every word. Right. If you feel yourself talking mm -hmm. and you feel them not Responding. liking you, be a person. Figure it out. Yes. Switch lanes. Figure something out. Like, don't stand up there and yeah. bite it for 15 minutes right. <laughs> when you could think, look around you, be like, what, could, what else could I talk, talk about? about? Yeah. And... I know that is absolutely contrary to what new comics are told. Like, absolutely. you have your act, you do your act. I got lucky. I got to, maybe because I got to do that. I had plenty of time on stage yes. where I got to d figure it out. But I think an audience can feel a comic dig their heels in. Oh, absolutely. And it... They sense it, and then they feel uncomfortable. So for it's the everybody, comedian. it's like two opposite ends of a magnet. Like, yeah. it's just like a <laughs> real, 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 real. Yeah. And if you can have this moment of going, oh, my God, you guys really don't like me. And we can all <laughs> laugh about the fact, like, I'm so sorry. I'm right. like, you guys hate me. I don't blame you right now. Let's talk about something. Like, I feel like you can walk away from a situation like that, mm -hmm. even if it doesn't go well, feeling better than when you do the ramming it in oh, and just going stuff. harder, harder, harder. Yes. <laughs> like, like pushing, like paddling upstream, right? Yes. Like without a paddle, right? Yeah. Like it's like, just like, why are you pushing it? Take it, eat, just a moment, take a beat, look around you, what's happening. Yeah. Think about a different way to do this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and be willing to admit that this is not going well. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, something that did go well was last night. We had oh, my God. Great that, show. Wasn't that so oh, much fun? So much fun. You guys were so hysterical. They, I, oh, you, everybody was so good. It was uh, so much fun. I, honestly, I was saying that my cheeks, like, yeah. I came home and I was like, I literally feel like I worked out my cheeks. Yeah, I, really I feel like I was getting on the back, the back of my skull. Yeah, just like, like the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love it. I love it. What was your favorite? Do you have like a favorite moment from, from this? Um, do you, okay. What, <laughs> a couple of the things that are awesome are like the moments before everybody's going on stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're all, you know, doing the kill it, kill it, kill it, yeah. and then you go. And then, of course, whenever I perform on the same show with my husband, mm -hmm. we always have to look at stuff like, okay, you messed that up. Right, right, right. Well. right. Give and like, it. I was so excited because he had a particularly great set last night. Mm -hmm. And I was watching the other two comics laugh at him. Aww. And I get this like, mm -hmm. oh, I love okay. it. Yeah, yeah. So while I'm watching my husband on stage, one of the cameramen <laughs> moved, hit himself in the side of the head with whatever he was holding on to the... Like, did... Like, if there had been a video of it, it probably would go viral. And I don't think anybody else noticed it, but he, like, bonked himself in the side of the head and stood there for a second and kept filming. And I'm like, I'm going to wet my pants. I am going to... Like, I'm like, nobody else is seeing this. And then I'm like a kid, because I'm like, did you see... Did you see... Did you see that he hit his own head with the camera? This is, he hit his own head. And like, they're dying. supposed to be laughing at my husband. But did you see this? this? I'm like all into my husband. He's so funny. He's so funny. But take a look at the camera guy. Like it was awesome. It was so, That's so funny. awesome. And of course the burp that will uh, go down in history. Burp, yeah. That, that was, was like. Like, she literally went to speak and was like, <laughs> Wet, not only the burp itself, but her look on her face, like, I really didn't need she to do this. She was really embarrassed. Yeah, which of course, if she's embarrassed, that makes it that, that much that funnier. That much funnier. <laughs> I love it. It was the best. It was the oh best. It was so much fun. Well, well, this is now, you said you've been in Nashville yes. before. Yes. Now, that was not a happy time. <laughs> no. no. But, yeah. yeah. So, this is like your first time really yes. exploring. Yes. What is your favorite part of Nashville? What, what have you enjoyed so far? Um, sounds hokey, but the people. Yeah. People are really friendly here. Mm -hmm. People are f super, super friendly. Um, I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed the kind... Of, there's a sense of camaraderie in this mm -hmm. area. 
Yeah. There's is like you can kind of tell like probably everybody's a songwriter. Everybody's, right. everybody's what it is. You know, it's like when you go to L.A. They're like, oh, I'm an actress. Right. I'm like, I'm an actress. Like no one cares. Right. Um, exactly. No one cares. <laughs> but it was nice. That part's nice, mm-hmm. and I do every again. I know there's certain foods I'm supposed to try and all that mm-hmm. stuff when yeah. I'm in Nashville, but I had like this really amazing pie in this adorable diner uh-huh. and the, the fountain soda place. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the name of anything, right. so That's nobody's awesome. ever going to want me to tell them to where tell to go. The where go because I'll be like, you know, the fountain soda place, it says air conditioning. It was, I can tell you it was built in 1939 and I can tell you all that, but I don't know what it's called. What it's called yeah. I went to there twice and already. And the best cheesecake ever. Yeah. And it's like, it's got this thing called a chess cake and I'd never had a yes, cheesecake before. that's a before. Tennessee thing, I think. I, thing. yes. So I am officially that, but just the vibe there yeah, yeah. and people, people, I'm also amazed at the number of people that I know they're making small talk, but they want to know why you're in town. Yes, yes, absolutely. and I think I like that. Yeah, because then you get to tell them like I'm a comedian, right? right. Yes, yeah, exactly. you know, I, it's just like yeah, cool. except in in New York, like people don't get a hell, like give a shit, no. like they don't actually mm-hmm. will not even look at you in the eye, let alone ask you what you're doing here. And if no. they're asking you what you're doing here. That's because there's a reason they either want to rob you or... Yeah, you know, no, like, that's what I'm saying. We live in a harder area. Much that harder. Part of the East Coast harsher. is just... It's oh, just it's angry. It's angry and it's tense. Yes. And, like, well, <laughs> I'm pretty friendly and pretty nice, mm-hmm. and I'm not the nicest person in a room here. Like... <laughs> Like, wow, there's people nicer than me? Like, it's so <laughs> funny because seriously, I have a reputation for being really nice. Really, my yeah. secret is is I'm just not an asshole. Like, you meet people and they're like, you're so nice. Really? And I'm like, I just said you look cute. Right. That's all. Right. That's all you got to do. Here, everybody's so nice. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. and it just, it feels good. It does. And, and your personality just blends right I in. I like it. Yeah. I like it. it. It's a great feeling. It's a great Yeah, feeling. nobody's looking at you. When you look at your waitress and be like, I like your nails, she's not like... Yeah, like your what? angle. Exactly. I'm like, no, I really, it's, I just really like it's sparkly. It's pretty. pretty. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm the same way. Even coming from New York, people don't expect that from me. So they yeah. think I'm being sarcastic because A, Do they really? I'm a comedian. And B, yes. because I'm from New York. So I'm literally genuinely nice. But yeah. people will take it I as can't like, imagine anybody not taking you as nice. If they don't nice. know me, though. Do they really? Oh, yeah. I, and it comes a lot here. It comes off a lot because I think they just know that I'm not from here. Like, I don't blend. Yeah. So they think, like, <laughs> Really? <laughs> so they're like, uh, wait, what's your, you know? And it's so funny because it's like mm. super nice people. But I feel like they're just like, are, is she nice? <laughs> you know, I'm like, no, but I'm nice. You're like, no, I'm very friendly. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very friendly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like I almost have to like, let them know, you know? Like, this is a safe space. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, in New York, Anytime I'm nice, they just think I'm either like drunk, high, or an asshole. Like they it just right, like right, they're just right, like, right, what's right. wrong with you? Why are you being friendly to me? Right? Like, what's your angle? Right? Like, what? Is, yeah, there's that. There's like, that thing, and then so it's like, no, this is just me. Like, I'm gonna be me. No, like, if you want just, me to be an asshole, like I could do that, but that's yeah. not me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah. So like here, it's it's it's. Everybody's like so friendly, so and, kind. Yeah, and everybody's fine at the moment. Like when you're New York, and a lot of Philly, any but any city areas, even mm-hmm. even urban De- urban Delaware. That's right. not really a term, <laughs> but but you know, as urban as Delaware. Yeah, yeah, you know, but I mean, there's big buildings and a lot of people get shot. So yeah, I think it's kind of urban. Yeah, um, everybody's waiting for the next moment. Yeah. So, like, everybody, when you're in New, like, I've noticed that when I'm on a show in New York, everybody's like, okay, well, we're gonna like. There to be like, well, I'm doing this, but then there are the ten other things. Yes. And I'm like, be here, be here. Yeah, I'm huge into here In the at this moment. That was a, that is very true. That is very very New York. That is 100. percent just nipped it right in the bud. I can't. You and, can never be in the moment because you have to be thinking ten steps ahead. And I don't because everybody's thinking twenty steps ahead. It's too much. It's too much because then you don't get to actually enjoy anything. anything. Your whole entire everything. Life. Yeah. And even you know even now when I if I have experiences that I'm not even crazy about, I'll mm-hmm. still be like. Okay, well, this is kind of funny. Or whatever. Right, right. Rather than like, okay, when's this over? When's this over? Ten minutes from now. Like, I don't... Yeah. That kind of mentality, I don't feel that here. I'm sure it does exist I'm here. Sure, yeah. But I don't 
feel that it, it is walking around here in the in the hotel and the restaurant and everything. People are just living. oh they're hey living. how are you? Yeah. They're living and they're not house. looking five people over your head. Like right. it's just nice. Yeah, that is. It's so true. I That's like it here. True. Yeah, you uh, obviously it's Music City. So uh, yes. Do you oh, listen to uh, country or do you, do you? What kind of music is your? I well I'm a show tune nerd Yay. yeah so there's a, I, did, I was a theater Day. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I yeah that's why I always get my all these jazz hands and bursting into a show tease yeah um and I, I listen I have pretty eclectic tastes um it's kind of funny my husband's like an actual real musician and knows things I'm just you know I'm like I like that sound I like that I like song. that sound yeah. generally to me Anything that I can sing with that mm -hmm. fits my range, I love. And oh, a lot okay. of country music does. Okay. Like, especially, like, the hybrid yes, yes, type stuff. Yes. I'm like, but I can... There's some of those songs that, as a singer, I can knock out of the park. Yes. So even if I wouldn't want to listen to them on a regular You're basis, I'm like, I'm totally going to oh, do this absolutely. song. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. I feel exactly the same way with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. true. That's so, so great. Yeah. So it's like, it's hard to turn me off with music, but mm -hmm. I don't have like this, oh, I love the musicality of this particular thing right. because of the blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, it's pretty. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like that song. <laughs> yeah. I like that song and I can sing it. Woohoo. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of country type songs I do feel yeah. fit my voice. So yeah. I like that aspect of it. Absolutely. Um, let's see. What comedian out there right now would you say that you would love to meet or see live or oh. that inspires you that's out there right now? That's right now? Yeah. Um, gosh. There's so many. Well, first of all. There's so many. I know. There's like, so many. <laughs> I Do you know who I've always loved is Amy Madigan. <gasps> yes. She's so funny. She is so, so funny. Oh, my and gosh. I, I forgot about Amy Madigan. Yeah, and I was going to say, you say out there now. I'm like, I know she's yeah. doing... Like, I know yeah, she's... Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm like, she's not like... But I'm like... She's, she's really funny. She cracks me up. Yeah. She really cracks me up. And Nate Bargatsky. Yes! He's from he's from Nashville. I know. And he, he actually is touring with... Do you know Nick or Vicky? I don't. Uh, yeah, he's uh, Mark's old uh, roommate. No way. Yeah, yeah. So I've probably heard stories about him. Absolutely. I'm sure I've heard from, I'm sure from Mark, you know but never. Him. Yeah. I'm sure you've probably met him at And some point, there is right? a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so wow. he's, yeah, they've, they've been doing tours together. And yeah, it's so, they're, it's so great. Yeah. yeah, and I just, you know who I just got to do a weekend tour with who was so funny and I, was, I didn't even know this about her is Caroline Ray. I love her. Her? So have you much. seen her stand up? I love her stand up. Oh she, I've my loved gosh! Her for years. Yes, and years well, I and just and years loved years. her, but I had honestly, I didn't know, know her stand up. up. Stand up. Oh gosh, she's so. Funny. I knew her personality from yeah. like talk shows and yeah, stuff, but yeah. I'd never. And when I got to do that show with she and Carol Montgomery, that's amazing. Oh my god, so funny. Yeah. So, so you funny. You guys, your comedy is very similar. Yeah, so she'll probably similar. never want to work with me again. Why? Well, no, no, no. Yeah. But what because I'm saying, so similar. Because, no, and not like, oh, she's jealous. I mean, no, 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 but I, I mean, like, mean. if you're picking somebody to open from you, it's not going to be an same. act that's yeah. kind of the same, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. not the same. You know what I'm saying. I the know same exactly. vibe. I'm not holding vibe. myself up to the same. No, no, no. no but no. what I'm saying you guys are totally is, have your own comedy. But I. She's. I watched her. I'm like, oh my god. So and of course she cracks me up because we do kind yeah, of think the same, the same, yeah, the same kind of vibe. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was really cool. So uh, she's another awesome. one that I was like, this is cool. And also not twenty. Yes. You know exactly. It feels good to be like, see, you know, yeah, those life absolutely. experiences. And yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, she's yeah. so great. It's, she's yeah. she's she's honestly, I think I first started listening to her late nineties. I would yeah. say when I first started like getting into her stuff, like the things that she was doing and like her comedy. And see, that's and, when I had first become a mom. So I was, yeah, yeah. Not. I was watching Barney. Like, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I missed all I of that. Love you. Yeah, 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 I can do that, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, do you have uh, like any specific podcasts or anything that you listen to that, that you would love to mention to our listeners that you think this would be? <sighs> I like killer stuff. Like yeah, I like Spooked. Okay, Spooked is a fun podcast. What is me. that? What is that? Spooked. They just tell creepy, like ghosts, creepy and ghost stories. Oh, okay. Super, yeah, 
And I love listening to Spooked when I'm driving. <laughs> Because I am a road dog comic. Yeah, right, I live yeah. in Delaware. There's not a shit ton going on there. Like, I'm on the road yeah. most of the time. And to keep myself awake, I listen to podcasts. And Spooked is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love that. I love that one. I got to listen to it. Yeah. It's just fun. And it's nice because it's like... 20 minute stories, so they're 30 not minute too stories. long. So you can listen right, to it. Right, like it's car perfect. Ride and you get your little story. Yes. In. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that one. Um, did you always want to be a comedian? I <laughs> remember <laughs> I had a vocab. I like to call it kind of a jellyfish sort of existence. I'd do something <laughs> and people would be like, you should try this. I'd be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Like every job I've had, everything I did. Ever since I was little, I've always loved performing. So I was a singer. And I did yeah. dancing and all the acting. Yeah. And then uh, post-college, I did all, the, you know, all different jobs. People like, oh, you, should, you would like a social worker. I'm like, okay, I'll be a social worker. Right, right. And then they're like, oh, you should be a teacher. Okay, I'll be a teacher. Like, I just would do whatever. I did the same thing. Right? I did the same thing. Like, I'm certified in everything. I'm right. certifiable. Okay? That's how it's certified. I'm like, yeah. okay, you think I'd be good at this? I'll go do it. Like, I've never done research. Yeah, yeah. I've never done anything on purpose. <laughs> and with comedy, have you ever heard my or my origin story for comedy? This is it's ridiculous. <laughs> I used to do musical theater. You know, I did life and stuff. And then when I was about thirty six or thirty seven, I um, auditioned for a musical and okay. a low show, and I got to play Gertrude McFuzz, I and I it was awesome. And I got back into it. So then I started doing work with that local theater company, and then. They're like, oh, you're, I started directing kids' shows. Mm. So I was constantly at the theater, mm -hmm. and then I would do, like, curtain talks before the show and go out and joke with the parents yeah. and do stuff. In the meantime, I also taught at a community college level, and I was teaching. And everybody, through the years, people would be like, you're so funny. You should be a stand-up. I think of you as a stand-up. You're so funny. I'm like, whatever, whatever, whatever. The theater where I was doing and directing a lot of productions, mm -hmm. somebody at, the, at a record label um, had their kid in the stuff, so saw me a lot, and mm -hmm. all of this, and so we got to be friendly, and they're like, you're really funny, like, have you ever thought about saying, I'm like, it would be fun, yeah. it would be fun, and they're like, you should try it, and they're like, look, we're going to be taping, and I think it was a, like a web series or something, this was in like, well, it was 11 years ago, I guess right. it was 11 years ago. They were going to be taping something for a stand-up comedian mm -hmm. in that theater. Okay. And they're like, will you come do warm-up? And I didn't even know what that meant. Right. I'm like, okay, I'm like the audience fluffer, basically, yeah. is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I went and I just talked to people. And when they'd have to switch, to, I'd come out and talk to people. So afterwards, they came backstage and they're like, look, the people in the audience want to see, there's people that want to talk to you. I was like, what? So I went <laughs> out and people were like, oh my God, you're so funny. When can we see you again? And I'm like, <laughs> So the people, the label, were like, we'd like to record an album with you. I'm like, okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, do you think amazing. you could do 90 minutes? I'm like, sure. Now, I have never done four minutes. I oh, just, my gosh. I didn't know. I was too dumb to know. Right, I was right. too dumb to, to know. know. Right, right. And at this point, I'm 44 years old. Right. I'm 44. Um, my kid's in high school. I, like I said, I'm too, Yeah. I don't know. So I'm like, sure, I'll do it. So we set up a show, and again, I'm a local, it's a small town, so we fill up that little theater, yeah. 152 people, you know, yeah. whatever. So I just talk and talk and talk and say stuff for like an hour and a half, they tape it, they put it together, and it made the first round of Grammy nominations for Funniest oh Album in 2013. Oh my God. So that my first time ever doing stand-up. You get a Grammy nomination. Right, <laughs> but I've never done five minutes. So meanwhile, this happens, and I'm like, what is what does this mean? I'm a comedian. Right, right. People are like, where can we see you? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, see me soon. Somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know how to do this. So then it was like a year before I did it again yeah. because I didn't know what to do. Right. And that's very humbling because you go and I'm like, well, I have this album and people are like, <sighs> right. And then they listen to it. But you don't even it. have five minutes. Right. And I'm like, really? And, um... <laughs> It was funny. Do you know Dina Blizzard? Yes. Okay, she's one of she's my best so friends. She's so funny. She's one of my best friends, and I met her through Mark Riccadonna. Yes. You know, our worlds yep. collide. Yep. And she saw me. Um, Comedy Cabaret was gracious enough to let me come in, and I would host, and I would do stuff. And Dina was watching me like, she's so likable. She's so oh, likable. And I, and she's like, 
does she have any jokes? Like, mm mm, no. She'll, <laughs> she'll get there, but she's, you can't, and, and so that's when I started learning. I'm like, I'm uh, supposed to have a plan. Right, right, right. So I went from doing a 90 minute one woman thing, feeling like, oh, this is comedy. This is why I'm supposed to be this doing it. This is how I do it. Right. To going, oh, oh. so kind of deconstructed. Yes. And, and I, I you, do you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you went backwards. You went totally went backwards. backwards. But that's amazing I, that you were able to do that because usually it takes people five years to be able to do 90 minutes. That's the thing. Well, and the, here's the <laughs> thing is I was a teacher. Like, I taught middle school forever. So I knew how to run a room. Yeah. I, I did musicals forever. Yeah. Like, there's there's a lot of things that prepared me for stage. Right. Um, and the thing is, is <laughs> the parts that I work on, nobody mentions the stuff that I don't even think about. They're like, your facial expressions or your movements or your whatever are so on point. I'm like, I don't even, even know about, about those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So the part that I have no control of and have that's no idea that's part. happening, that's what you like. Thank awesome. You. That's where I am as a person, but it's working. So I'm like, but okay, you know I'll what? go with it. Hey, that you means do, yeah. you don't have to do much at all. Yeah. <laughs> so know? I didn't know that I really wanted to do this until I'd already done it. And then like five years in, I quit my day job. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, so, that's and amazing. I, I love it. Yeah. That, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I feel, but it's so funny. I mean, the life found you. Like how can right. you, you know what I mean? Like how can you like push that away? <laughs> well, that's, and again, I was 44. I lived in Delaware. Like yeah. everybody has cool stories about growing up watching comedy or being in the city and trying an open mic. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, I never had to, I never didn't, had to do that. I didn't. And I wouldn't have it. known how. Right. And again, I was the mom. Like, that's the thing. I wasn't going to yeah. go driving around to open mics. I had to get my kids, kids to, school. to school. Like it wasn't. I am a girl. I know that feeling. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's like, hard. yeah. Yeah. So I have so like I get jealous of people like you who got to who did school for acting and did all the stuff in the city and yeah. all of that. And I can think about that. I'm like, but that that didn't that's not they my did. path. Yeah, exactly. If that was supposed to be my path, that would have been my path. Yeah. But I do like. Oh, was that like to get to do it like for yeah. real for real as a 20 year old you know what I mean I know but see in other ways it's like oh why I wish I, I had what you have because like there's like so much PTSD and, and stuff of like right. doing that as a female at that time oh I'm sure so like the 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 fact that you were just able to like whip it out and yes. just do it I was like yes. oh my That's gosh you could have done I could have done that like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saying. Like it really, so like, the grass is I haven't actually always. worked at this. To be perfectly <laughs> honest, like I have not put a whole lot of thought into this, right. and that's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it was also cool. Um, you know, at the time I had a stepdaughter and my daughter watching me shift and do all of that. And of course, they were majorly uncomfortable because yeah, I was course. embarrassing. But I also needed them to see that. Whatever life you are in, if something changes, it's okay to go with that change. Go with it, yeah. So I kind of felt like I've met too many people that are like, I always wish I'd try that. I always wish I'd try yeah. that. And I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm not modeling that behavior for yeah. these when young women. Yeah. I, especially I women. Absolutely. I'm like, they are not going to go Feel do something because my mom never got to do this. Like, right. no, oh. no, we, we do that. this. And yeah. I think it was in, that gives you a lot of courage to just Absolutely. be like, this is the behavior I want to model for the young women in my life. Yeah. I feel like so, having children, that's like one of the reasons, like one of the most beautiful things about being able to be a mom is that you get to do that, yeah. right? Like yes. You get to learn and then be able to teach. Yeah. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely. I love that so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, is there um, uh, something that uh, I didn't ask you? Is there a question that you wish I asked you today? Um. Oh, you know what? I'm going to tell you how I ended up falling for my husband. I don't want to hear that story. Because this is, okay, <laughs> this is, uh, well, you know Jeremy. Yes, you I know. love Jeremy. Jeremy and I met doing comedy, just like yeah. you and I met, and it was one of those things where we really liked each other. He was married, I was married. There, I never, right. never, yeah. and he's young, like, there was just never a thought yeah. in my head, but I really, really liked him, and I just remember being on shows and being, say, oh, Jeremy's going to be on it, but... This one night, I couldn't put my finger on, like, why do I like this guy better? And Because, you know, I say guy, it's always guys. Right. It was always eight, eight guys and me on the show, always. you know? Like, that's always. just how it goes. It and you hang out, and you have fun, and they're, most of the, they're lovely, all of that. But they're, they're boys. Yeah. You know? exactly. <laughs> and I love you guys. I've married quite a lot of you. But I, <laughs> I, um, 
But there was something, and the guys were making fun of another comic. Not in front of his face. Right, right. When they he was outside. up or something. Yeah, I don't even think he was in the room. Oh, okay. We, they were outside, and they were just making jokes about him. And I was uncomfortable with that. Mm-hmm. Again, oh, yeah. it's the, right, exactly. it's the I don't, yeah. I can't stand. I'm the same way, yeah. And Jeremy, and he's smoking a cigarette at the time, he's like, come on, guys. He's like, he's obviously got a little something going on. Like, just just let it go. Aww. And I was like, that Aww. kindness, mm-hmm. I was like, that. I, I was like, that's what it is. That's what I'm feeling Yeah. about this guy. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. You know, yeah. he just calmly, that. coolly shut the bullies down. But didn't make the bullies feel like feel, jerks either. Right. He wasn't and like you guys are. Just, he did. Nobody. Nobody so got. Yeah. He was just like, yeah. ah, come on, guys. It's yeah. And they're like, well, oh, you're right. You know. And nobody yeah. was upset. And I will never forget that. I love. And that. it. Yeah. And I was like, wow. <sighs> and then, and of course, we were both still married to other people and all that. Like I didn't think of it, but I was like, that was the moment. That I think the universe, God, all of that yeah, was like, moved, yeah. pay attention to, to this. this. Guy. Yeah. Pay attention to this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, it was really cool. I love that. It was really, really cool. What, what was your first date? <laughs> it wasn't a date. <laughs> <laughs> we, ah, we were on a podcast. Oh, okay. my God. Let, let me tell you how classy I am. Okay. You, we, I, a podcast? It okay. was a podcast. We got invited <laughs> to do a podcast, and we were both booked on a show at Kazi's uh-huh. in, um, New, in Newport News. Uh-huh. Right? I think that's where it is. So I'm in Delaware. Jeremy's wherever he lived. I didn't even know, but we were meeting. We got asked to do this podcast. He's like, hey, then I will drive us to Kazi's, which I was like, fantastic. Yeah. I'm not going to have to drive. Drive, yeah. So, my marriage was ending, and I, I was miserable, and because um, there was a lot going on yeah. there. So, we go, and we do this podcast, and we get in the car, and I don't know what happened, but it's a long drive uh-huh. from Baltimore to Newport News, and something about it, I just started talking about, like, stuff that turns me on. <laughs> He started talking about stuff that turns him on. And I was like, well, I'm leaving my husband. He's like, really? And then I found out he and his wife weren't going to be together. Oh, my And I was God. like, huh. So then I started getting interested. Right, right. And then then we went. We did the show at Kazi's. Mm-hmm. And he pulls into a hotel. <laughs> Very dignified. Holds oh, my hand. My we go into a motel. I love it. Have a lovely conversation. <laughs> drive back and I'm like thinking I just had a one night stand right. I was like oh my god I just had a one night stand with Jeremy Hall right. and then I were driving but what was cool is he, we were in his car and I kind of fell asleep and when I woke up his arm was on my shoulder Aww. and um, then he dropped me off at my car I had to go home and then you know we would just message each other and at yeah. first it was just like I'm like okay we're just going to be hook up buddies right, or whatever right, right, and right. then it was like oh my god we're in love right. we're totally in love <laughs> You know, and then we're like, oh, my God. We totally. Again, backwards. You're not supposed to do it that way. Your one night stand. Nope. Uh, Nope. It was. Yeah. (laughs) And it was like so classy. So that's our first date. Date. I love it. It was in a seedy motel. Love it. Newport News, Virginia. And I have to. I just have to mention this because it just popped up in my brain. Uh Uh-huh. When you guys got married. And Jeremy got his debit card. (gasps) (gasps) We just. (laughs) Can we just? Can you just? Because I don't want to say it. Can you just tell? Oh my god! This honestly was the most hysterical thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Unbelievable! (laughs) And if he has it on him, we'll have to take a picture of it. Could he not? That was the okay. Like, was that that was not planned? No. That's the part. This is the thing, and this okay, keeps we happening. Tell our listeners about this. It's story. like that okay. bird whistling the Andy Griffith yeah, theme song at him versus <laughs> cat calling me. Okay, guys, you know that when you have credit card companies where you can send them a picture and they'll put a picture on your card. Jeremy had a picture from our wedding that he loved. It's Jeremy, me, and my daughter. It's the three of us. It's a beautiful now, picture. and it is. It's, it's a, a really beautiful picture. It, it really is. Like it's a stunning picture. I know. Why he picked? 
<laughs> and remember, Jeremy's a little shorter than me. Oh. So it's like Jeremy, me, and Carly are like this, and Jeremy's here. <laughs> <laughs> they print the card. <laughs> the chip for the card is right on Jeremy's face. Because <laughs> he's so short. Because he's so short. So you see just the chip and his, and his little bow tie. He's got a fucking bow tie on. And happy. his boot beard. I'm smiling. My daughter's smiling. And here this man has done this beautiful tribute to the day. <laughs> on this credit card. And it was so funny. Because remember... Remember in the movie Christmas Story when Ralphie gets a special Dakota ring? Yes, yes. And he's got the mail. He's like, this is it, this so is excited. it, this is it. And he, Jeremy can't wait to surprise me. He, oh, I, I don't so know he's done this. So he comes in, he's like, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. He's like, it's here, it's here, it's here. And he opens and he's like, what the fuck? No fucking way. And he walks over and he puts this thing in my face. I'm hyperventilating. I, mean, I, can't, even, like, I can't even hold it still. Like, there's no way. There's, and I was like, how do they not see this? How, how, how did they let it like, like, whoever stamped that card to print, like, had girl, you have been losing oh, it? Of course. It was and is but amazing. Honestly, to me, that, that's like just an, oh, that's like a funny little omen that yes. he's your debit machine. Yes. Well, and it's also, he's like, this is, he's like, this tells you everything you need to know okay. about how all this operates. This tells you everything. The two girls smiling, all happy. Jeremy, very happy, but there's a big stamp on his face. Like, it, oh, it's the best. And we, <laughs> he was able to post a picture about it. He'll bring it. And then, but we'll go places, and there will be times when people look at the card and be like, did you do this on, on purpose? purpose? I was like, no. It, I mean, as a comedian. Oh my God, I, mean, I forgot about that. It was perfect. So perfect. I absolutely, I, I think about that so much. It's so funny. It is it's the so, funniest. yes. I mean, <laughs> and it's awesome because, and that's the nice thing about living with a comedian. Yeah. Um, neither one of us take ourselves seriously, like, at yeah, all. I love that. So those moments. Yeah. You don't have to protect anybody's ego feelings. or feelings because we think it's as funny. funny. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean. He's like, this is really <laughs> funny. <You know? laughs> well, that's uh, the hallway, right? Yes. You guys talk, talk, tell us, tell our yeah, listeners you guys, about this. This is such a great show. This has been so much fun. On Tuesday nights, we go live on my fan page, which is just Missy Hall. We go live from eight till nine. And we just sit, we call it, it's our date night. Yeah, it honestly it's is. It's so cute. Because we just sit next to each other on the couch mm -hmm. and we talk about stuff. But viewers comment, so we interact with the viewers of the show. And it's gotten really, yeah. re it's really sweet, you guys, is people that have been joining us every week kind of stay in touch. Absolutely, I love it. You know, and they come back and they're like, well, what happened with this? Or yeah. what happened with that? And it is so much fun. Yeah. And, and it's, funny. Yeah, I, it is kind of funny, funny, isn't yeah, it? It is. it is. Like, I mean, I know the two of you together are just so adorable. But it's and then just our funny. dogs, our dogs are Always also involved, and crawling <laughs> on us. So yeah, we call it the hallway every Tuesday night. At 8 o'clock. that's Eastern time. Yes, Eastern, yes, time. Eastern time. But yeah, so and it is one lady messaged me. She said, "I'm so sorry. It feels." She's like, "I love you guys so much, but is this?" Am I allowed to be here? Like, is this just for oh. your friends? I'm like, oh my gosh. No, you, more the Mary, you are. Like, these moments, we're friends. Yeah. Like, we're doing this on purpose for oh, free everybody. to yeah. just hang out with people. I love it. Yeah, That's it's really so been fun. Will you tell us, our listeners, where they can find you? Sure. Um, my website is missyhallcomedy.com and Missy Hall on Facebook. And Missy G Hall on Instagram, and I think that's I think you can find all my other because I do TikTok sometimes, but mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram are the big ones. So okay. Missy G Hall on Insta, Missy Hall on Facebook. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank Missy. you. It's so much fun to do this. Weekend. Oh my gosh, this has been so awesome. I love like it. they, I, we can't thank you enough for oh having us. Oh my gosh, us. thank you guys for coming. Yeah, it was, it was really such cool. Such a treat. It really was. It really was really awesome. Making me smile all day. So. Yeah, me too. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>